Welcome back everyone. In this video, let us learn how to reuse functionality across components with the Composition API. Earlier in the series, we had learned about reusing functionality using mixins. Let's quickly recollect how mixins work before diving into Composition API. Now, as you can see, I have two components in the components folder. Click counter and hover counter. Click counter counts the number of times the button is clicked. Hover counter counts the number of times you hover over the heading. Since both have a counter functionality, we have extracted the reusable logic into the counter mixin in the mixins folder. We have a data property count initialized to zero and we also have an increment count method which increments this count value by one. The mixin is specified using the mixins option in both the components. In the browser, you can see the two counters in action. Now, although this works fine, mixins do have a few issues. The very first one is that mixins are conflict prone. Since properties from each option are merged into the component, you have to know about every option in the mixin to ensure your component doesn't have any naming conflicts. For example, if the mixin provides a count data property and you try to use the same property in your component without realizing, you could lead to a mixin merge conflict. Sure, we have just the one mixin right now, but when your components grow in functionality, it's possible to have multiple mixins for a component. This also leads to confusion trying to understand which mixin is merging which value. In fact, with the component we have here as well, it's just not obvious where the count and increment count functionality are coming from. Also, another limitation is that Reusability, although present, is limited. We cannot pass in any parameters to a mixin to change its logic, which reduces its flexibility in terms of logic abstraction. This is where the Composition API comes into picture. It allows us to reuse functionality while at the same time addressing both the limitations mixins have. Let's see how it works with an example. Of course, for this example, we are going to consider the exact same scenario that we did with mixins, reusing counter functionality. Let's reuse the two components, but comment out the mixins options as we will replace it with the composition API. Now, whenever you write reusable functions with the Composition API, they are called hooks or composables. You can choose either, but I will go with composables. So in the source folder, create a folder called composables. This folder replaces the mixins folder we have. Next, in the composables folder, we create a file to reuse the counter logic. And the file names for composables also have a convention. The convention is the word use followed by the functionality. For our scenario, the file name would be use counter. And this is a JavaScript file. So use counter.js. Within this file, we write a function that can be called in every component where we need the counter functionality. The function name is same as the file name. So function use counter. And now let's go back to the mixin and see what we need to replace. First, we need to replace the count data property. With composition API, we use the ref function for that purpose. So import ref from view and then within the function const count is equal to ref and the initial value is zero. 
Next, we need to replace this increment count method. With the composition API, a method is simply a function. So function, increment count, and within the function, we increment count value by one. So count dot value plus equals one. We of course need to be able to use the count reference and the increment count method in the component we call this function for which we need to return them. So return count and increment count. Finally, export the function as the default export so as to use this function in other components. All right, now that we are exporting the function, let's import it in our counter components. In the click counter, import use counter from one folder up composables slash use counter. We can now call this function within the setup method. So setup and within the method we call use counter. Now this function returns an object with count and increment count which we can destructure. So const count comma increment count from use counter. After destructuring we return it so that count and increment count can be used in the component template. So return count comma increment count. Let's do the same with hover counter as well. Import it and copy the setup method. If you now save the file and go back to the browser, both the counters still work as expected. If I go back to VS Code though, you can already see that the first limitation Mixins had is already overcome. When we use a composable or a hook, we know exactly what it is providing in our setup method and we won't have any merge conflicts. We know use counter is returning count and increment count and the same can't be redeclared in the component. The second limitation of flexibility with parameters is also solved. So in the use counter hook, we can specify initial count and step size as two parameters and use them within the function. Initial count, step size. Instead of zero, use initial count. And instead of one, we use step size. You can also provide default values to the two parameters to ensure you can still call the function without passing in any arguments. So this initial count is going to be equal to zero and step size by default is going to be one. Now in click counter, let me call use counter passing in initial count as 100 and step size as 10. I will leave the function call in hover counter as it is. Head back to the browser and we can see that the button count starts at 100 and the hover count starts at zero. If I hover, it increments by one, but if I click on the button, it increments by 10. So we are reusing the counter functionality, but we have made it flexible by passing in parameters. When building large scale applications, you're bound to come across situations where you need to reuse functionality and composables solves that very elegantly as you have just seen. With that, we come to the end of the composition API in Vue. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.